three, over three decades of flipping the fertility switch down in China. Um, they are now flipping the fertility switch up in China. And if that sounds a bit mechanical to you, this may not surprise you to find that uh, the one-child policy was designed by rocket scientists. The reason why they are flipping the switch up now is because the one-child policy has resulted in a population that is grossly overbalanced. In a few words, it's too old, it's too male, and it's too few. There are now over 30 million single men in China who have no chance of finding women. And just to get you a sense of what that is, this means a, a, a population of single, presumably somewhat horny men, uh, larger than the size of Canada. <laughs> and, um, you will also have um, a, a population of retirees in China that's bigger than all of Europe, with far too few young workers to support it. And this is all the result of the one-child policy. All this was done in a program that emphasized speed and coercion at the expense of human choice. So instead of lowering birth rights by giving women education and empowerment and equal opportunity, as many other countries did, China did it through a program which emphasized things like forced abortions, sterilizations, and uh, very, very heavy fines. So the result of this is there are millions of missing women in China now. Uh, there, are, um, there are all these women who are never born, who are given away or killed at birth through infanticide or sex selective abortions. And so China is now in a bind because where are all these brides for the legions of men? Where are all the future mothers of your nation? Where are all your traditional caretakers for the elderly? If you ask yourself, is this a problem that's specific to China? Not quite, because um, across time and across the globe, there have been efforts to control women's fertility all across the way. And this has ranged from anything from a proposed free child policy in the Philippines to efforts to scale back abortion rights right here in America. So here's my big idea, and it is breathtaking in its simplicity, which is this. Fertility is not a switch that's easily dialed up or done. Women are not machines. And it's only through female empowerment and choice that we will avoid the sort of Orwellian demographic disasters we see now, where the question is not one of too much, too few, but just right. Thank you.